welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my go-to chicken curry recipe in the most traditional sense you may call this boneless handi. Handi is a vessel in which this dish is traditionally cooked. I don't have that vessel, you don't have that vessel, so we're going to make it in the vessels that we all have. This is my favorite, favorite way of making chicken curry. I also have another recipe up on my channel which is called chicken karari. It requires bone and chicken and this is a boneless version with a few tweaks here and there of that one. Uh, but I'll tag that one up here as well if you are interested to check that one out. But let's get started. In a saucepan, add one third cup of oil. Next, add in your cloves and cumin seeds and let it crackle and sizzle. Add in your chopped onions and fry this for 5 minutes on high heat until the edges are nice and brown. Once onion looks like that, we're going to add in tomatoes and we're going to continue cooking this for 10 minutes with the lid on the pan. And halfway through, add in a touch of water. The water really helps to break the tomatoes down. So continue uh, cooking it for the remaining five minutes. Finally, time to add in spices. As you can see, onions and tomato look nice and mushy. We're gonna start with coriander powder, garam masala, turmeric, red chili powder, I used Kashmiri lal mirch, salt, and continue stirring this. This will be our base curry which will help season and flavor the meat. And into this obviously I want to add in cilantro and green chilies. Now go ahead and add in your chopped chicken. These are chicken thighs boneless and I've cut them up into medium sized chunks. Mix it really really well. Into this I am adding in ginger garlic paste. Stir it. And then next add in yogurt. Yogurt is a tenderizer. I think it's the key to curries. It really helps to tenderize your meat and allow the spices to seep in. Stir this until the chicken is no longer pink. And then finally we're gonna add in some cardamom pods for that really nice aroma. I've cracked them open. Let your curry cook with the lid on for 30 minutes. And this is what the curry looks like around 25 minute mark. I'm adding in my final green bell pepper chopped and then going to put the lid back on and continue cooking this for the remainder of the 10 minutes. And this is what the curry looks like. As you can see, the masala has released this wonderful oil that's glossing the entire curry. This is when you know the curry is all done. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you want this recipe, you know where to go. It's on my blog, rookiewithacookie.com. Um, I also make sure to add in anything that I know about how to make a curry. I know it can be a slightly intimidating process if you haven't made curry before. Uh, so I'll be sure to mention exactly all the stages that a curry goes through in its life cycle. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Instagram at Rookie with a Cookie. So if you're on Instagram, follow me there. Also comment if you guys try this recipe. And obviously, I love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.